हेलो आई आनंद जैन फ्रॉम हनुमानगढ़ राजस्थान वेलकम्स यू टू योर फेवरेट श्रीदेवी क्लासेज यूट्यूब चैनल वेर वी इनकलकेट इंटरेस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट टूडे इन आवर क्लास ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स प्ले लिस्ट इन आवर चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिज्म we will study helical motion of charged particle in magnetic field and understand when initial velocity of particle and magnetic field flux density have a angle other than 090 or 180 degree the particle will perform helical motion or helix in magnetic field will also obtain formula for radius of helix time period in helical motion and the pitch of helix so let's start helical motion of charged particle in magnetic field First understand why and how helical motion of charged particle takes place in uniform magnetic field if for a charged particle velocity vector v makes an angle theta with uniform magnetic field flux density and this angle theta is not 0 nor 180 nor it is 90 degree then in that case the particle velocity can be resolved in two component one component v cos theta is along magnetic field flux density and second component v sin theta of this velocity velocity is making an angle 90 degree with magnetic field flux density now the total resultant behavior of v velocity can be obtained by superposition of individual velocity component effects and one v cos theta component which is along magnetic field flux density won't experience force in magnetic field and with this v cos theta component this particle will move straight with constant linear velocity along v cos theta direction whereas the second v sin theta component which is normal to magnetic field flux density will have maximum amount of force the direction of force on this velocity component by magnetic field flux density is obtained by fleming left hand rule and thumb four finger and middle finger of left hand are stretched mutually perpendicular such that four finger direct in the direction of magnetic field flux density and left hand is twisted by wrist or elbow such that this middle finger comes in the direction of motion of positive charge and then this thumb direction indicate vertical inward magnetic force qvb sin theta and that force divert particle to perform a circular motion as indicated by this red loop so when velocity vector of charged particle makes an angle theta other than 0 90 or 180 with magnetic field flux density then one component of velocity along magnetic field without any force proceed in a straight linear direction with v cos theta velocity and particle will move in the direction of magnetic field with constant v cos theta velocity whereas the second perpendicular component of velocity produce a circular motion and as a result when particle is moving along direction of magnetic field and making circular motion perpendicular to magnetic field the combined action of two velocity component together produce resultant behavior of this velocity as a helical motion of charged particle which not only make circular motion also moves in one particular direction and resultant movement of charged particle form a spiral helical or helix path for the moving charged particle of mass m and charge q this perpendicular component of velocity v sin theta to magnetic field flux density generate a centripetal towards the central axis of this circular loop motion magnetic force equal to q v sin theta b and during motion the mass particle have a outward centrifugal force equal to m velocity square and velocity perpendicular to magnetic field producing circular motion is v sin theta so m square of v sin theta divided by r will become outward centrifugal force and centripetal and centrifugal force equilibrium produce radius of this circular motion equal to m times velocity component perpendicular to magnetic field v sin theta divided by product of charge and magnetic field flux density so radius is given as mv sin theta upon qb and apart from mass charge and velocity it also depends upon the theta angle between magnetic field flux density and velocity if this normal velocity component v sin theta is higher then radius become proportional to v sin theta also become higher we can also find out time period for one circular rotation of this velocity v sin theta perpendicular to magnetic field by ratio of circular path periphery to pi r divided by the velocity of 
performing circular motion that is perpendicular velocity component to magnetic field v sin theta and in place of r when we replace mv sin theta upon qv we will find that this velocity component v sin theta in numerator and denominator will cancel out and time period of circular motion doesn't depend upon velocity moment energy or even angle theta of velocity with respect to magnetic field and it is 2 pi m over qb depends upon mass and charge of moving particle and existing magnetic field flux density and when both in phase component of velocity produce a linear constant speed motion in the direction of magnetic field and perpendicular component produce a circular motion the combined effect not only move particle in a circular shape also drift the same in v cos theta vector direction of particle velocity so it moves and rotate and form spiral or helical motion as illustrated here in this drawing and the radius of this circular motion depends upon angle theta of velocity with magnetic field and it is given as mv sin theta upon qb and the time period of circular motion doesn't depend upon this theta and it is just 2 pi m over qb so when particle perform helical motion its velocity in the direction of magnetic field v cos theta remain constant and in one rotation which take 2 pi m over qb time this velocity v cos theta make a travel path and circular loop shift from its initial position to another position in the direction of magnetic field and this displacement of circular loop position is known as pitch of helix and pitch is in phase velocity component of particle in the direction of magnetic field v cos theta multiplied by time period of circular motion and in place of time period when we replace 2 pi m over qb the pitch become 2 pi m qb multiplied by v cos theta and the pitch depends upon in phase component of velocity and time period this and next two example will explain motion of charged particle in magnetic field in all conditions and this sound explanation will improve clarity of concept and remove all sort of confusion in this first case the charged particle is moving with velocity v along the direction of magnetic field and angle between particle velocity and magnetic field flux density is zero and in that case magnetic force on moving charge by magnetic field flux density qvb sin theta will become zero as sin zero is zero and in that case particle will move in a straight linear direction with constant velocity without any acceleration this is also possible when velocity and magnetic field got an angle 180 and the force qvb sin theta for theta 180 become again zero and particle also move in a straight linear direction with constant velocity if velocity direction is just opposite to magnetic field flux density this example is most common examination pattern where moving charge particle velocity in uniform magnetic field makes an angle 90 degree with magnetic field flux density as in this case these arrow indicate direction of magnetic field and this brown arrow indicate the velocity perpendicular to magnetic field and angle theta between velocity and magnetic field is 90 degree now in this second case the magnetic field is normal to yellow highlighted plane perpendicular towards us upward and all three velocity v1 v2 and this v makes an angle 90 degree with magnetic field and in all those four cases with 90 degree angle the magnetic force become maximum qvb this angle phi here with any arbitrary reference line of this velocity is confusing as our magnitude of force depends upon angle of magnetic field flux density and velocity and which is also 90 degree in this case so in all those cases when the angle between velocity and magnetic field flux density is 90 degree the magnetic force becomes maximum qvb and that maximum force produce circular motion of particle and everywhere on circular motion magnetic force remain perpendicular to velocity direction or displacement and magnetic force produce acceleration and change in velocity and momentum but won't do work on moving charge so there won't be any change of kinetic energy or magnitude of velocity or speed so particle with constant magnitude velocity revolves in a circular loop in all these conditions and the orientation of circular loop can be obtained by direction of force using fleming's left hand rule 
this particular case of motion of positive charge particle is very interesting as here velocity of particle makes an angle theta with magnetic field flux density and this theta is neither 0 nor 180 or nor 90 degree we know in case of 0 and 180 degree the resultant force on moving particle is 0 and particle moves in a straight linear direction with constant velocity and for 90 degree angle between velocity and magnetic field magnetic force become maximum and particle perform circular motion so here this velocity got two component one v cos theta along the direction of magnetic field with angle between magnetic field and velocity component zero and another v sin theta perpendicular to this velocity and we can obtain resultant behavior of this motion in magnetic field by superposition of motion produced by two component of velocity the in phase v cos theta component without force produce a straight linear motion and perpendicular v sin theta velocity produce a circular motion and the combined action not only revolve charge particle in a circle also transfer it in axial direction along the direction of magnetic field and the resultant behavior is a helical spiral or helix motion this illustration on screen represent a typical helical spiral or helix motion of charged particle in magnetic field when initial angle of velocity and magnetic field is neither 0 nor 180 nor 90 degree. So we have seen that when velocity makes an angle 90 degree with magnetic field flux density it perform a circular motion and when this angle is neither 0 nor 180 and nor 90 the particle perform spiral motion and all these conditions the displacement of particle takes place along the direction of instantaneous velocity and magnetic force remain always perpendicular to resultant instantaneous velocity so magnetic force and particle displacement got a 90 degree angle and in those conditions force won't produce work on moving particle so the kinetic energy of particle remains the same so the magnitude of velocity or speed will not change whether the motion is circular motion or spiral helical motion but but the force produce acceleration and that acceleration produce change of velocity only in the form of direction not in magnitude we hope this small informative learning video has explained each and every aspect of helical motion of charged particle in magnetic field and you will definitely found it very useful in our examination our other learning video are equally useful and you can use them in your study or share them with your friends and if you need our online doubt clearing classes do join the membership of youtube channel shridevi classes by clicking join button just beneath happy learning have nice time thank you very much